Hello people, Strange Templar here. Welcome back to Minecraft Feed the Beast. It's been a little bit since we've been able to record uh, due to my massive cold that I've had for the last week and a half. Uh, but we're back, finally. And uh, back at it. I did go ahead and uh, pretty up our floor a little bit. And uh, did some small minor changes. Nothing really big. Uh, I've been kind of taking a break from Minecraft. Uh, just enjoying sleeping mostly uh but we're back and ready to go uh this episode what we're gonna do is follow up on our uh steve's cart systems now that we have unlimited wheat and wood uh what i want to do is start working on a little bit of a automatic farm system so we can start breeding cows sheep uh get wool uh get leather that we're gonna need for uh miscraft uh seeds from the from the steve's carts we're gonna use for uh apiaries for bees uh we also need books for to get our enchanting so we can start making level 30 enchantments all that kind of stuff so uh what i want to do first uh is make ourselves a feed station uh which is really somewhat easy to make it requires gold and steel uh but other than that it's fairly easy to make uh we need carrots golden carrots and uh some steel plates uh, and to make steel plates, we could either make ourselves a blast furnace, which would require clay, bricks, a whole bunch of other stuff that we don't really want or need. Or we can uh, just take some iron, cover it with coal on the sides like this, and make ourselves some coal dust. Uh, what we're going to do with this then is, uh, well first of all, let's grab ourselves a rolling station. Um, I don't keep this hooked up to power normally because uh, this is one of the machines that will just slowly drain power uh, even when it has power um, so it's just to keep our power system a little more efficient because it's not efficient at all uh, so this lean will just slowly drain power as you can see it keeps dropping down and so it just continually has to be recharged which gets annoying and expensive and we don't really want to deal with that so what we do is we take the four steel ingots that we just made uh, turn them into some steel plates uh, nothing too exciting there. Once we have our steel plates, let's go ahead, take our rolling machine, throw it back into our inventory system. And uh, now what we're going to do is take these carrots, put golden nuggets around the edges like that, so we have ourselves four beautiful golden carrots. And finally, we're going to need some oak planks, like so. Put a steel plate in the middle, and the golden carrots on the sides. Bam, we have ourselves a feed station. Uh, now I should have some more wheat in here. I do. Perfect. Hey, I have 64 exact. Um, and what we're going to do, let's see, we have dirt in here too. Perfect. Um, why do I hear skeletons? It's daytime. Uh, what we're going to do here is set ourselves up with a nice feed station if I can jump over I did put a gate in here I don't know why I never used a gate I prefer to jump uh, but anyways this feed station as you can see there's hearts flying already uh, get out of my way cow I need to get out um, and basically what that'll do is there's 64 weed in there and it'll slowly start making cows happy and baby cows will appear and it'll be all good uh, so that'll be a good source of leather for us uh, for books and for miscraft all that stuff miscraft is going to require a ton of leather from us um we're also going to get sheep pigs all that stuff breeding going but cows definitely are my number one priority right now um i've gone ahead and found a couple more beehives uh that we're almost ready to start working on bees but we still i want to get this uh farm going as much as possible there's still a couple empty spots uh, but it's slowly getting itself some more seeds and uh, pretty soon we'll have an overabundance of seeds too not quite yet but we'll get there we'll get there no hurries right um, next thing I want to do is start getting the miscraft stuff ready uh, really there's not all that much in the miscraft uh, folder in the NEI uh, basically we need to make ourselves an ink mixer a book binder and a writing desk uh, some of these other things are gonna get made with them uh, and then we'll also make ourselves a couple book stands which are really cheap and easy to make uh, I don't know if I've really talked about what miscraft is miscraft basically is a way for us to write our own worlds um, at the beginning it's gonna be 
pretty much a randomized world, it could be really awkwardly dangerous for us, or it could be really freaking awesome. Uh, but eventually we'll get enough uh, of these pages, uh, not blank pages, but just regular pages that will let us, it will let us, I don't, I don't really know how to say it, basically write in exactly what we want in our world and do some really cool stuff that way. Uh, so let's go ahead and make ourselves some planks here. Uh, we'll make ourselves a basic table like so. That'll make us a book binder. Uh, let's see, we need a ink mixer, which is stone like so. We need the planks again like so. And we also need a glass bottle, which I should have planned ahead. Do I not have a crafting bench anymore? Dang it, that's annoying. Okay, let's keep a crafting bench out here just because I forget to craft things in advance and I, I'm too lazy to go back through and take everything back out of that inventory system. Bam, okay, glass bottle, just like that. Easy. So we put that in there, nope, right there. No, I did this totally backwards, didn't I? Yes, I did. Awesome. That's embarrassing. That's okay. I'm used to it. Like so. And planks again. Like so. Perfect. Okay, ink mixer, book binder, and last up is a writing desk, which is basically the same as a book binder, but a little bit different. Go figure. Um, and then we need a glass bottle. And we need a feather, just like so. Perfect, perfect. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these set up over in our next room. Uh, you know, this should probably go the same place as we put our enchanting, uh, but that would make too much sense. Okay, uh, we'll probably move our enchanting over here, just so it all looks the same. Uh, writing desk, we have our ink mixer, and we have a book binder. Um, next thing that we're going to want is to build ourselves a couple more glass bottles because we only have one right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a seven and we're going to need to fill these with water and we're going to need all the ink sacks that we have. Uh, we don't have very many. Okay, we really only needed four of these bottles, but it's good to have extras just in case. Uh, let's go ahead and fill these up with water real quick like so perfect and now what we do is we take a bottle of water and two ink sacks and we get ourselves an ink vial super exciting not really but kind of uh it gets it gets more exciting trust me trust me now what we need is paper and leather i don't think we have any leather in our inventory oh we have one leather right now and we need paper. Perfect. Okay. Done. So I can at least make you guys a simple demonstration of what we're going to do here. Let's get our food back up. Oop. Like so. So now what we do is we take our ink mixer. We put in an ink vial. And you'll see it's full of ink right here. And oh, it leaves us the glass vial. I did not realize that. Uh, so now we have ink in our thing. And we put in paper. And we're going to pull out our cell a link panel. Achievement get! Small step of the journey. So now we have a link panel, which does absolutely nothing for us at this precise moment. Uh, I don't know if you guys played with Mistcraft in the 1.4 Feed the Beast. Uh, this is a little bit different. Link panels need to be made separately from other books. But if we take a link panel and leather, we can make an unlinked link book. With this, what we can do is figure out where we want to be Let's say, let's return right about here. Right click with it, and now we have a linking book. So now, if we're in any other dimension, once we use this linking book, we will teleport right back here. And so, if everything works according to plan, let's go to the nether real quick. Like so. Here we go. So now we are officially in another dimension. We are in the dimension known as the nether. If I use this, bam, 
teleports me right back here where we right clicked on our unlinked link book. So let me go back and grab that real quick before it despawns because that's not where we want to do, uh, where we want it to be. Uh, you might notice that uh, whenever you use a linking book, you drop the linking book, uh, which is not always a good thing. And, and to pick it up, like if you do drop it, because it looks a little different, uh, you right click on it and you can access the linking book right there, or you can click right here to pick it up and put it back into your inventory. I did not know that part for the longest time. And so I thought as soon as I used a linking book and dropped it on the ground, it was stuck there forever. But no, you can actually, in fact, pick up linking books. Uh, good to know, easy to forget. Okay, so next thing that we need to do is get ourselves a little bit more leather. Sorry, buddies. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Give me some leather. Okay, we got eight. Eleven. Um... Uh, we got 13. Good enough. That is plenty for now. Nope. Okay. Stay. Good. Good cow. They're just like dogs. They stay when you tell them to. Perfect. Okay. So now we have paper. We have leather. We need to make ourselves another link panel. And like so. Done. Okay. Now, next thing that we can do is we put leather in here if we put a link panel in this book binder we can make ourselves a descriptive book what a descriptive book will do uh is it'll create a link as long as it has a link panel it will create a link to some random world uh, eventually what we'll do is we'll get pages that we can put in here so we can describe exactly how we want our world to be but for now all we have is a random world uh, you always want to make sure when you go into a random world or any world for that matter that you have a linking book back to the overworld once you go through this age book there's really no coming back unless you have a description book or if there's a thing called a star fissure which are not all that common really uh, so sticks we need went ahead and made the ability to make some sticks. Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set down a book stand. You're gonna take our descriptive book and set it down. Now, uh, when it's on a book stand like this, it will never despawn. It will just stay right there. It's like a fixed fixture in the world. Um, Cross your fingers, guys. Let's hope that this world that we go to is going to be a good one. And remember, always want to have a linking book on your inventory at all times. Because, well, let's just see what let's just see what we get. Uh, the view pane's black because we have no idea. The world hasn't even generated yet. Let's click and see what we get. Takes a while for the world to spawn, but right now it's looking kind of dark. So first thing we want to do is. Look around. Oh, we got a twilight. Where are we at? A... We're on a beach. Awesome. So we have a beach biome. We have some sort of twilight oak. Canopy tree. Perfect. Um, This is actually a somewhat decent world. Which is really surprising. Normally... Normally you'll have like poison, nausea, uh, the world will be exploding around you, uh, different things like that. But this actually looks fairly tame, all in all. Uh, so what I need to do, before I forget, is put a book stand, put our linking book down, and next thing we need to do is put a waypoint. Waypoint. Home. Done. So uh, you might notice that our other waypoints that were in our other world no longer exist. They're gone. Uh, that's because we don't, we, that world just doesn't exist right now. That world is here in this book. So now we can click here, come back to our world. Yay. Like so. And we can go back, click here, go back to our, call me Quinn. That's a cool reference actually. 
That is from um, Mist. I don't know if you guys ever played the games Mist. If not, I highly recommend it. Uh, they are great puzzle games. I believe there's five of them. Uh, I know there's five numbered versions, and then there might be more. Uh, but what we can do now is explore a little bit. Hopefully there's not too much badness. Uh, but what I want to try to do before we leave is find ourselves a library, which is one of the major uh, important things in a miscraft world. Uh, if we can find ourselves a library, I don't know if those are just sp sometimes. Ooh, is that gold gravel? It is, but I don't have any way to... I didn't bring a shovel with me. Um, generally, when I go into a new world, I don't take much of anything with me. I actually took more than I planned to take. Uh, the other thing that I should do before I forget... Uh, first of all, let's get a little more food in our system. Eventually, we're going to make ourselves some modular power suits, which will automatically feed me, which would be awesome because I have a ha bad habit of not remembering to eat. Let's go ahead and kill these and get some more ink sacks because ink is going to be our limiting factor for uh, the foreseeable future until we can find a good way to farm ink, which I honestly don't have any good way in my mind to farm ink, uh, except for using minium stones to turn flowers into black ink, which is kind of not all that efficient, really. Uh, what we're going to do, or what I'm thinking of doing, is... So we can get back home quickly, easily, and safely. We're going to set up a sand pillar, just like so. We are going to make ourselves some portals. So now, wherever we're at in the world, we can be like, Hey, I need to get home. Woo! Here we are. Okay. Uh, R to reset. And we're going to do that. And now we have a way to get back home safely, easily, and conveniently. Easily and conveniently pretty much mean the same thing. But you know what? It still applies. Okay, so let's see what else we can find in this world. Looks like the world generated with three biomes. We have ourselves a beach biome, a swamp biome, looks like, and some sort of twilight biome. And it also looks like the day cycle is a lot faster than normal. Um, I don't know if you noticed just how quickly that day cycle went. Uh, so that's something that we want to be careful of. Uh, nighttime is going to come quickly, uh, but also daytime will come quickly as well, hopefully. Uh, but what I need to do right now is find... Oh, is that quarried stone? Um, not get distracted and find a... Library. Oh, there's elk. Wild deer. Same thing. Wait, is that a library up there? No, I don't think so. Nope, that's just a finger pointing to the sky okay not what we needed uh there's bees that's a good thing lots of bees uh miscraft for some reason it always appears like or it always feels like um the world's generated have extra bees for some weird reason i don't know why oh barley can make yourself some bread um uh, but really I just want to find a library so I can show you guys. Uh, I think what I'll do is go ahead and explore a little bit. And when I find one, I'll show you. And then we'll call it an episode. Uh, next episode. Ow! Ow! Okay. Uh, so let me go find one. And I will see you back in two seconds, hopefully. All right, guys. I found our library. Uh, it's basically just a small stone structure like this. Um... Really easy to find if you have like a meadows biome, desert biome, beach, uh, stuff like that. But uh, so it, not the wrong button. So it shows up on the over map, mini map. Uh, but this one was a little bit harder to find because it was under some trees. But really, basically, uh, what you want to look for is spiders. Uh, let's go ahead and block that in so they can't bother us. Uh, but what we can do is we can start picking up all these pages. And with these pages, we'll be able to start uh, specifying how we want our worlds to look. 
Uh, right now, all we have are some Desert Hill biomes. Nothing all that exciting. Uh, you also want to check, generally speaking, in one of these corners, you'll find a chest that has a few extra... Yeah, right here. Have a few extra symbols. And, uh, yeah, so we got cyan, which is color, jungle biome, zero length, green, dark stars, yellow, four shells biomes. So nothing all that. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I don't know what suffused with strange energies means. It kind of scares me, actually. Uh, but we have speed, so that's good, I guess. Um, scary a little bit, though. Because I don't really know what that means. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick up all these books and the lecterns. Uh, just because we can use these books to start making some bookshelves back at our place. So we can make those level 30 enchants, all that good stuff. There are a lot of spiders outside that want to eat us. Um, the good thing is we don't have to travel all the way back home, which is only 300 meters away. I can just do that, run through, and uh, get back home that way. Uh, so... With that, guys, I'm going to leave you. I will meet you back next episode in our base. Uh, and we are going to start working um, on some more Mistcraft stuff. Uh, probably get a little bit started on bees because that's something that I really want to get done. Because I talk about it pretty much every episode, as you all know. Uh, but, yeah, I will see you guys back. Actually, let's go back real quick while we can. Oh, see, it's daytime already. Perfect. Overworld. Done. So we're safe. We got all of our fat loots. And uh, it's raining. Awesome. Uh, so, guys, thank you as always for watching. I will see you guys back here next episode. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and or subscribe button if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time. And until next time, don't be a stranger. Take care.